Welcome back. This video is the story of my boyfriend confronting a reckless fisherman killing a huge breeder female fish. No, no, no. You've had it out of the water for 15 minutes. You caught it. I don't care. Why are you standing in the front of me if you don't care? Well, let's get right to the beginning. We got to the beach nice and early. Oh, and you can see right here, let me show you this. That's the beach down there, and this is north. We're, we're, we're north. And there's all these people fishing, fishing, fishing. I put my stuff here. And then he put his stuff right there. That's me. That's where he put his thing. I was like, dude, can't you move another 10, 20 yards? No, there's no other fishermen. Not fatal, right? No big deal. Just really poor etiquette, especially if they know how to fish and not tangle your lines. But, oh, hooked on his line. It got wrapped. Yeah, there's a fish on here. Oh no, I've got her line again. She's on the other side of my line. Hold on. Action. It's him. She's on it, she's on it. She's on it. Well, she's got it. All right, back to the story on the beach and, and my confrontation with these folks. We saw the guy fighting a huge fish down to the south. I thought this guy actually had a shark, the fish was so big. But he, he was over there. You can't see Curtis Lent, but he was like 50 yards over there, caught the snook. Those fellows over there actually told him to cut the line because they saw how big it was. And the guy was a googan. So then he got it out of the water over there, was fooling with it. Like for like minutes, like, minutes, five minutes. you know, with snook, you know, you keep it in the water or you take a picture and have to go back in, you know. So at this point, it was out of the water for so long, we assumed it was a slot. Now, in case some of you guys don't know, a slot snook is between 28 and 32 inches long. That measurement zone is where you can keep the fish, okay? Between 28 and 32, no smaller, no bigger. Why? Because females mature at 28 inches long and hopefully by that point in their life, they have already laid some eggs. Fish over 32 inches long, those are always going to be the huge, healthy female breeder snook, and they can lay eggs for up to seven years. The slot size also helps us keep our fisheries healthy by not touching the big breeding fish. So that guy told him to cut the line, and then he drags it up and down the beach here by the tail. Yeah. Always hold the fish horizontal. No, he just... held it upside down by the tail. Yeah, upside down by the tail. Yeah, always hold the fish horizontal, especially a big snook. And then he like comes over here asking for a tape. So now I'm like, a tape? Why did this guy need a tape? I thought this fish was a slot. And so Darcy went over there with the tape. I thought it was gonna mean a, I thought it was a slot from far away. We immediately but told him, throw it back. Immediately saw it was a monstrous overslot, 38-ish snook, and told him to put it back in the water. Snook are hermaphrodites, which means they start off mostly as males, and then as they mature and get big, they become females. So this 38-inch fish, or any fish over 32, is like 99% simply a big breeding female. So then we measured it. Now, I wasn't even want to measure it because every time I put the tape down, it was like 38, 40 inches. Yeah, it's huge. And so I'm like, put it in the water, put it in the water. And he's like, and he just started walking off sideways where I got the camera. Okay, so now he does not bring the fish down to the water to put it in the water and get it wet. He walks parallel to the beach. So now he's not releasing the fish and I've already seen this fish out of the water for way too long. Uh, so this is when I grab my camera. Look at these people, they got a 38 inch fish. I just measured it. 38 inches. They've had it out of the water for tw about 10 minutes so far. I told, I told them I was going to call FWC <laughs> if they are going to put it in the water. Dead as a doornail. Now we did post this on Facebook and a lot of people, you know, maybe don't know too much about fishing, just kept on calling me a nosy and said, mind your own business, you know, MYOB. But you know, at this point, I thought the fish could be saved. So, you know, I'm, I'm like urging the guy, or trying to shame him with the camera to put the fish back in the water. And you can see from this footage, he's really just simply not, has no concern about how fast he's putting his fish in the water. You know, it could have lived. If it had been a dead fish in a bucket, you know, I'm not gonna say anything, but you know, this is, at this point, this fish could theoretically live and I'm, you know, I'm just getting really frantic. Great job. No, no, no. You've had it out of the water for 15 minutes. Even though the fish is dead, I know some people say, well, just eat it. It's, it's illegal, yeah. right, Dar Sizzle? Right. A lot of people on social media, too, that may not know, why don't you just eat the fish? It's dead already. Well, again, it is highly illegal against the law to possess a dead or alive fish that is over the slot length. So unfortunately, something is going to eat that fish. But us humans, we cannot keep a dead snook that is over slot. You're just not allowed to. There's no way to enforce it. So that's what we do. We follow the laws and the fish must be put back in the water, dead or alive. It'll end up getting eaten by something else like a shark. 
Okay, at this point, you can see in this footage, uh, this B-roll here, that the fish is just lying on its side or on, on its back in the surf, not swimming whatsoever, okay? Nothing else I can really do here. So I just, you know, I'd be quiet and I just go back to my, my camp, which, oh, just my area on the beach. I did call FWC, we, uh, and we waited around, and then, you know, and then this guy walks up to me, walks up from his area, like 25 yards up into, up into my area where I'm sitting in my chair, and here's what happens. Would you please go fish with your family and, and stop harassing me? Yeah, they took a bad picture for you. I don't care. Go fish with your family. <laughs> go, will you go, please go. Why are you standing in front of me? <laughs> That's a beach. Anybody, anybody got to walk right over okay. here. Anybody stay here. Go ahead. I'm happy to wait for the FWC, it's no problem. <laughs> I already called them. Yeah, they caught it. They caught it. You saw me call them? Yeah, you caught it. I don't care. Why are you standing in the front of me I if you don't care. care? I don't care. Why are you standing in the front of me? Why are you standing in the front of me? Why are you standing in the front of me? Oh, I can sit any, anywhere. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, anywhere. You want to make out with me? You want to go on a date? What? I said you want to go on a date with me. I don't care. When I, I, uh, I'm going to leave. I'm leaving. In all my years of snook fishing, I've been blessed to catch dozens of overslot fish, and I've never killed one. That's right, Dark Sizzle. And uh, I, I mentioned we did call FWC. You know, we, we've kept on fishing. They, they didn't show up. I'm not sure they could have done anything. You know, the guy didn't have the fish anymore. But uh, we did have a great day anyway. We caught a ton of pompano, had a great day in the beach. You know, we didn't let those folks interfere with our, our happiness. So check out our last video, we're catching a ton of pompano. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.